Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be the new mods for January 22nd of 2021. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, so first off, before we get into it, um, up there on your screen right now, it's going to pop up a couple of different categories. So the first thing we're going to do is go over updates. After that, we'll go into machines. Um, and then after that, we'll do tools. And then we'll do placeables, which we have a lot of placeables today. So all those timestamps will pop up on your screen. If you're looking for a specific mod, they're all down below, time-coded into the YouTube, the, the, YouTube, <laughs> the YouTube drag bar down below. Uh, so you should be able to find whatever mod you're looking for down there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so apologize for this coming out late again. Giants has been releasing mods fairly late, or, or, well, I say fairly late, a couple hours later than they normally do, so I've been a little bit delayed, and I've had to rush off to work before I can do any mod reviews. So, here we go. We're going to start with the updates, which we have quite a few today. So, for our updates for the day, so we have Goldcraft Value by Puma145, and there's the change log down below. Again, I'm going to have all the change logs up there, or at least most of them up there. That way you can pause the screen and read through them. Then we have Ravensburg by Top Ace 888 I did not put the change log on there because the change log was absolutely massive. Just a huge list of stuff on there. So if you want to look at that, um, there's two mods like that today, Ravensburg and another one we'll see in a little bit here. Uh, go check out the mod hub to read the full changelog on that one. Then we have the Lizard D838 slash D848 by Austri and Kazakhstan18. And we have the Lizard D83 by Kazakhstan18 and the Floor K, maybe. I'm probably saying that wrong. But anyhow, uh, moving on from there, we have updates to the Lizard D616 by Kazakhstan18 and the Floor K. Uh, then we have updates to Lizard D46, D47 pack by Katzen18 and Austri29. Then again, the same people, Lizard D35 pack. And then we have the Case IH2566 and 150 series by Agritono. Um, those are those updates there. And then moving on, we have updates to the Roadrunner Plus by Mantrid, which there is no update or change log on here because that was an absolutely massive change log. So go look that up in the Mod Hub. Uh, then we have the Cow Shed by SN Modding, the Big Horse Stable by SN Modding. Uh, Polish Buildings by Casper. And then moving on to our final two updates, we have an update to the Grain Style by R. Mahal and Den Ben, and an update to the Chicken Food Bag by Mr. Hector. So there you go. Those are our updates for today. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it and start with some machinery. All right. Our first new mod for the day is the John Deere 7000 series. Uh, this is by uh, SR Vertex or Senior Vertex Markin and Cola Modding. This is 8.61 megabytes to download. And this is for all platforms. So this is a uh, John Deere combine and a header. So we'll take a look at it here in the store. So under harvesters, you will find this at the very end, as usual with mods. Uh, the John Deere 7,000, $55,000 starting price, holds 4,800 liters, uh, 15 mile per hour driving speed, um, holds 300 liters of fuel, 148 horsepower is a starting horsepower, and it can harvest these crops here for you, which is pretty usual. Um, in here, um, clear windows. So if you look at the windows on the grain bin here, we can go clear, go dark windows. Uh, then we have square lights. So if you look at the lights on there, square or rounded. And there's a couple others that are changed up on the back here. Rounded, square on the back lights you can see on there. Uh, the rigid cutter. And again, this one, I'm not sure exactly what it changes, but I'm sure it's probably something that you're going to notice more when you're hooked up and actually using it. And you might have to unfold it a little bit to actually notice some of that. But uh, you do have an option for a rigid or a uh, flexible cutter. Then we have metal tip, which is referring to the uh, pipe tip right here, or we have a rubber tip on it. And then we have a couple other options down here. So the cabin one, this is my favorite one. So we have without cabin, with an open cabin, which is what I've gone with. We have cabin one and cabin two. So, so many cabin options, which I think is fantastic. Then engine setup, we have the 7100, which is 138 horsepower. We have the 7200 at 148. And then the 7200 turbo, which is what I've gone with at 162 uh, horsepower. So there you go. Again, even with a few upgrades on there, it's not gonna be too much for you to buy this guy. Um, and then if we look at the header, header is gonna be under headers in here, go all the way down to the end. Uh, the 318 Master 9500. Um, it's designed to go with that combine, obviously, that we just looked at. 5.5 meter width, harvests these crops here, and runs at 6 miles an hour. And there is no customization in the store. So, hop out of here. Engine sound sounds fantastic. Horn. I'm not getting a horn. Uh, beacons. Not seeing any beacons either. Uh, let's go ahead and hit lights here. One, two, three which looks like it turns on the back ones. Three, turns on our front one. Four, there we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So lots of good light options on there. I think that's pretty cool. Um, X to unfold it. You can see some of that stuff working in there. I love the engine's kind of shaking in there, like it's actually you know running. That's pretty cool. I don't know, it's floating above that. But uh, anyhow, I like that. That's pretty cool animation on there. 
Sounds good when it's driving around. Turn it on, do what you gotta do. V to lower that down. Well, theoretically. That's interesting. Open up my help menu here. Yeah, it says V to lower header, so if I do lower it, which it shows in the lowered position there, that is... That adjusts, let's see. Oh, that's kind of cool. That adjusts with the two mouse buttons there. Sorry, I'm taking a look at this here. But I don't see a way to drop that down. It's just kind of off to the side like that. I don't know if that's the flexible cutter option that I went with. I bet you that's what it is, um, where you can adjust it to have flexible or not, but I feel like it should still maybe go lower. Lift it back up. Anyhow, <laughs> there you go. We can hire a worker on there, disable straw swath, all that good stuff that you get with a harvester. So, oh, let's look in the cab here, which is non-existent at this time, but good details on there. I love the John Deere key ring flying around. A little bit of a strange animation on there. Looks like it's floating a little bit, but otherwise looks pretty cool. There you go. It's the John Deere 7000 series. Our next mod is the saplings extension. So basically it gives you new pallets for saplings, which is pretty sweet. So if we take a look at this in the store, well, this one, actually, if you go up here, one of the options, it'll tell you what it is. It's a hundred piece option on there. Uh, so if we go into the store here under pallets, if we go down to the very end, so the original one is a thousand for 20 pieces. So if we go down here, I open this up 20 for a thousand 40 for 2000. So 60 for 3000. 80 for four and 100 for five. So again, it'll it'll change what's on there as you're going through the different piece options. Um, but to, oh, this is uh, by Door Schmied. This is 0 0.26 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms, which is pretty sweet. So there you go. That is the Saplings extension, which I think is a fantastic idea. Next up, we have the Lizard Silage Roller by uh, Lapin Poika. This is 2.16 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. This is gonna be found in the store. If we go under tools, it is gonna be found under levelers all the way at the end. Here we go, the Silage Roller, uh, 3,000 to buy. It is 2.9 meters, though in the Mod Hub it says 2.85 meters. If I open that up in here, uh, you are able to customize the color to kind of whatever you want to go with, which is pretty sweet. So uh, it does add a little bit to the price, but not that big of a deal. We hook it up. Zoom in maybe a little bit here. Look up to it. Nothing really in the uh, help menu there for us. No other options. Lowers it down. Looks like it's got some maybe turning animations. It's kind of hard to tell with that. Looks like it is turning a little bit, but there you go. That is the Lizard Silage Roller. All right. Next up, we have the Case IH 770. This is by Mr. Dynamite 88 and uh, Theroxy. Uh, this is 9.64 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. So this is essentially a uh, disc arrow. So if we take a look in the store under tools, we go down here a little bit to disc arrows, all the way at the end. There you go. The 770, 85.50 to buy, nine mile an hour working speed, which is actually a little bit slower. Anyhow, uh, 7.2 meter working width requires 200 horsepower. We go in here. Um, we are able to change the rim color to whatever we want. So we can go to pink if we wanted to. A main color, we can do kind of anything we want. So whatever we kind of want to do with that. Now down here, um, design, we have standard or we have decal one. So if you look at the decals in there, case IH detail, standard, decal one, standard, decal one. So it changes that up a little bit. Now wheel setup, this is pretty cool. You have one, two, and three. And I believe I went with two. So one, two, and three on there. So some different tire options, which is actually pretty cool to see in a cultivator. I like this one. You can kind of customize it, even though it's a case. If you don't want to run a case or you don't have a case farm, I mean, you can make this, uh, basically, you can make this a class, or a class, sorry, a class, you know, disc or whatever you want. You know, you can kind of customize the colors a little bit, which I think is pretty sweet. But it looks very nice. Really good detail on it. Go ahead and uh, hop in here. Open up the help menu. If I hit X, it will unfold it for me. A quick unfold there. If I come up here, I can hire a worker or I can just do it myself, but I'm going to hit V to lower it down. And it should do a cultivated state on there. Does does what it's supposed to do. Looks nice, not too bad. Lift it up. I'm just gonna run down back down here real quick. And I can cultivate back in just like that. So yeah, there you go. That is the Case IH 770. All right, next up, we have the Case IH 720 series. This is by the same people as the previous one, Mr. Dynamite 88 and their, their Theroxy. I'm probably saying that totally wrong, or Theroxy. Uh, this is 11.17 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms. This is a plow. So if we take a look in here, under plows, it's actually a pack of three plows. So 
We have one, two, and three. And I think, did I go the smallest one? Yeah, I did the smallest one. Um, so we have basically the first one here is 9,000 to buy, 1.6 meter working width at seven miles per hour, requiring 100 horsepower. This one, 11,000 to buy, 2.0 meter working width, seven miles an hour, and 190 horsepower. And the final one over here, 12,500 to buy, 2.4 working or 2.4 meter working width, seven mile an hour, 240 required horsepower. They all have the same customization options. So you can come in here and you can customize the rim like you could, uh, like their previous, uh, their disc hair that we just went over. You can customize the main color. For design, you have standard or you have decal one, which let's see where the decals, there we go. Decal one, standard, decal one, standard. So 10, 7, 20 or decal one. So there you go. Wheel setup, you have two options, standard, and one standard one so there you go and again they're the same options for all of those so if we hop out of here really good detail on the plow actually i like the way the blades are all sitting on there and everything like that look up to it come up here turn on the help menu i can hit v to lower it down i can hire a worker if i'd like to but uh there you go it does plow and you can create fields with this if you'd like to hit y to turn on field creation and i'm creating fields right there so as you can see beautiful that is the case, I almost said lizard, <laughs> it's the case IH720 series. All right, our final piece of equipment to look at today before we get into placeables is the uh, SIP Orion 25 Alp. This is by BGamer003. This is 10.99 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. So this has a couple of cool configurations, and I actually will need to see what this can hold. But anyhow, let's just take a look at this in the store here. This is actually found under manure spreaders, not under trailers, so go under here, because one of the options is a manure spreader. Here it is right here, uh, the Orion 8000. It says it's going to hold all this stuff. It depends on what configuration you're in. And it does have a 12 mile per hour working speed, 64 horsepower required, a 9,000 liter capacity. That's going to vary. We'll look at that in a second. And then we have a, a nine meter working width. That's if it's a manure spreader. So if we come in here, it sits as it is. You can adjust the rim color to gray or red, whatever you want to do there. Um, so right now, 4,000 liter capacity. It has old rotors on it. So these guys on here. Um, and it is a manure spreader. I can adjust to new rotors. Or I can do a side one, which I probably should check that out. That'd be pretty cool to go off to the side, spit it out to the side. Um, but then I can go up to a small, which is no longer a manure spreader. So now we're going to be able to hold 8,000 liters of those bulk materials. And if I go up to big, I can now hold 9,000 liters, though I feel like it should hold more than that. But anyhow, regardless, there you go. I guess there's the mesh screen in the front. So I guess it would kind of the crops and stuff would fall out. But um, then you can also adjust the wood here. So wood panel, you can adjust it on the extension there, but you can go to aluminum on the bottom. So it looks better in the previous formats here um, if you wanted to go with the aluminum setup there. So there you go. Again, 8,000. It doesn't look like any of these cost any more. Nope, nothing costs any more to adjust it. Uh, rim color changing doesn't cost it. It's 8,000, So, uh, which is pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool for a small farm to be able to adjust it into a trailer or whatever you needed. Let's go ahead and hook it up. I have new rotors on the back of this. 4,000 liters of manure. If I open up the help menu... B to turn it on. There you go. It's not doing anything because it doesn't need fertilizer. That's, uh, I think we can do it here. Let's see. Turn it on again. Nope. Doesn't need fertilizer. <laughs> Let's go down to the last part of the field here. I need to plant something on here and get rid of the fertilizer states. There we go. Just like that. Good detail on it. Looks very nice. And it's going to go ahead and fertilize that way. And then again, you can hook up to our trailer here, which let's actually hook up to it. I want to see what it looks like when you're unloading it. Let's go ahead and just put something in it real quick. Um, we'll just put wheat in there. Ooh, that really fills up. So it'd be coming right out of the mesh there, but control I to unload. And there's the unload for you. Interesting unload there, but uh, there you have it. That is the uh, SIP Orion 25 ALP. All right, now we're on to our mini placeables that we have today. So the first one we have is the vegetable garden. This is by Omatana. This is 5.49 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. So this is pretty sweet. If we go into here under placeables, we'll take a look at it in here. It's under miscellaneous. Ignore all that junk. We'll look at it in a second. So we have four different options in here. So these two right here, uh, vegetable garden with greenhouse function for passive income. So I, I got to double check and see if they take manure actually real quick. Let me look in here. Uh, in the mod hub, let's see. I don't think they require it. If you want to just have passive income, you can just have these. So you have a fenced option, an unfenced option. Then... You have a selling station where it can sell water or you can sell water or manure to it. And so yeah, so this one's one of the passive income ones, which actually looks like it does. It is going to need manure since it's not taking anything in there. So yeah, I would say it needs manure or water or anything in here. Nope, not coming up there. Yep. So I'm going to go with it. Probably is going to need water or manure to get going. 
Um, and then over here we have the selling station. Nice detail on it. So again, really good looking garden. Actually, these are pretty sweet. I think this is a great detail. This would have all sorts of fun things to have. This is something I want to add on my uh, Willamina Forest series now. I'm stuck, but uh, yeah, so this is a selling station. If we go in here, did it add in a selling station? There's all sorts of them in here, but this is the garden selling station. If we go down to the end, uh, water and manure. So it's going to take those two crop types for you. So there you have it. That is the vegetable garden. Next, we have a silo for crops. This is uh, by Bartso NV3. This is 8.57 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. So this is going to be found in the store under silos. We go down to the end here. We got a couple silos in here, but this one is the one we're looking at. 25,000 to buy, $10 a day maintenance, holds these crop types down here and holds 40,000 liters of each. So there you have it. Nicely detailed mod though. End point's gonna be in the back here or right here next to this thing. And then here's your out point here. So yeah, nice little detailed uh, silo for you. If that's what you're looking for, there you go. Next up, we have the Silo VTC by uh, SoulScan. This is 7.25 megabytes to download and this is for all platforms. So this is just a behemoth of a machine. So end point right here, and out point under here through that right there, which is pretty sweet. I like the setup. Now, this isn't your normal silo, and I'll explain what I mean here in a second. We can't go to the top, can we? Eh, maybe not, but anyhow. Uh, if we go into the store here, this is also under silos. Go all the way down to the end here. This is this guy right here. 30,000 to buy, $2 a day. It holds 10 million liters, but it only takes lime and fertilizer, so just be aware of that. But uh, otherwise, yeah, great place to store lime and fertilizer. This might be something I add on to uh, No Man's Land just to test it out. So anyhow, there you go. That's the silo BTC. Next up, we have the pack of Polish buildings. This has two buildings in it. This is by Bar T. This is 10.18 megabytes to download. And this is for all platforms. So we have two buildings here. If we go take a look in the store, they are both located under sheds. Down here at the end here, we have the Polish barn, which is 30,000 to buy. $20 a day maintenance, and we have the Polish Brick Garage, which is $25,000 to buy, and $20 a day maintenance. So, there you have it. Taking a look at these, let's go ahead and uh, everything open up just fine on here. Fantastic. Looks like they should put a repair trigger in here. You can go into this side here, which I like that. Nice features in here. Is there a light switch that we can find? Looks suspiciously like there should be a light switch. Aha! There we go. Turns them all on. You got lights in there. I like that. Nice, nice, nice. Good details around it. It's nice and worn down. I like it. Pretty cool. Then we have this one right here, which will open all the garages to this. These ones are, this is essentially a drive through shelter. Light switches in here. I don't see any lights actually in here, so I'm probably not going to find any light switches. But uh, yeah, there you go. Another drive through shelter there. Again, really good detail on the outside. So uh, very nicely done. But there you go. That's the pack of Polish buildings. And continuing from our pack of Polish buildings, we have the pack of Polish houses. We have two houses in this pack. This is by Sizek. This is 7.32 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. So if we take a look in the store here, under farmhouses, we have the plastered Polish house for $50,000, $20 a day maintenance. We have the yellow plastered Polish house, $50,000 again, and $20 again. So taking a look at these, I don't believe you have any way to go inside, but we have a sleep trigger there. And then on this one, we also have a sleep trigger right there. But uh, essentially, they look like they're the same, just uh, different colors, but uh, pretty good detail around the outside, I think. Yeah, very nicely detailed. They don't necessarily have to be on a Polish map. They can put these on any map. These look nice. So anyhow, there you go. That is the pack of Polish houses. All right. And for our final and biggest mod of the day, we have the Goldcrest Decoration Pack by Puma145. This is 36.8 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. Um, I'm going to try to not miss anything, but no promises. There are 21 models in this pack. Let's jump into the store and take a look at them. Under miscellaneous, we have... Um, a few in here. So we have a pressure tower, um, a straw barn, a well. Now, I don't know. These ones have some checkered boxes. I, I haven't tested them to see if they're water points or not, but uh, they're under miscellaneous, which would indicate that, but they do say decorative object down here, so I'm not really sure. They're not well labeled if that's the case. Wood chip cell point. That one, I believe, is a cell point. Uh, vehicle workshop, and that is all in here. Um, so taking a look at those in the store here, we have uh, the wood chip. It says wood chip purchase. Interesting. They have a cell. It looks like it's a cell point, though. Wood chips purchase. So they, I guess, purchase wood chips. Um, but yeah, we'll take a look at some of the, all these here in the in the end. But uh, let's take back a look in the store. Under silos, they did add one silo in, which is this guy right here. 120,000 to buy. 300,000 liter capacity. $60 a day holds these crop types. I'm not going to go over all the prices. Just pause if you want to see any of them on here. Um, under there's nothing under farmhouses. Nothing under animal pens. Under sheds, we have a couple. We have two sheds under here, so a couple different sheds, 15000 and 12000 both $2 a day for maintenance. And then if we go under decoration, this is where a lot of them are. 
So we have the basketball court, we have the wagon, we have the fence, we have the fence post, we have the pool deck, we have lamp one, lamp two, lamp three. We have the monument, we have the wooden toilet, the picnic table, the arbor, um, and the tower. So we have all those guys in there. So a lot of different ones, and I believe I counted them all out. We should have them all. So uh, first things first, I'm uh, tag that. Where is that at? Which one is this uh, placeable here? Oh, the workshops. Oh, no, this thing has it. So when I place this red barn, um, I'm assuming this is a sell point as well, because when I place it, I put this big uh, brown area out here. So I'm I'm assuming, I don't know where the trigger is going to be exactly, but this is probably a, a sell point then. Um, the bale sales is going to take silage, grass, hay, and straw. So pretty sweet. You have a sell point there. And the wood chip purchase, we already know about that one, which let's go... Where's that guy going to be at? This is a workshop trigger here, by the way, right here. Workshop trigger. Um, this looks like the wood chip station here. Yep, here we go. Wood chips right here. So this guy's going to take your wood chips. You want to sell them there. Now, again, I'm not sure if these guys are... Where are they at? The well here is a water point or this guy is a water point or not. But uh, anyhow, you have those things there. I'll let you guys mess around with them. But uh, yeah, I suppose I could test them out. I just I just forgot to get a water tank out here. But uh, anywho, deck... Pool's a little empty there, but uh, otherwise good to go for you. Um, monument here, wooden toilet. We got our various lamps and fence posts and everything. I'll try not to jump around as much. Uh, the outhouse here, taking a look at that. Again, there's just so much in this pack. Um, just want to give you guys an idea of what you have available. And this is a pretty cool setup here, actually. Really like this. I can't, can I get in here? There we go. But uh, this is a really cool setup right here. I like this. I'm stuck now, though. There we go. This is the silo right here, so in, in points over here, out points over here. Uh, the arbor here, or excuse me, the tower here, that's the arbor. Go up the tower stairs here, see if we can't get to the top. Come on now. There we go. Ooh, that looks very nice in there. That is fantastic. Look at that. Great detail. I mean, these are all from the map, so if you guys are familiar with that map, you recognize all this stuff, I'm sure. Uh, but if you wanted to add it to another map, there you go. Come on. Get me out of here. There, no, 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 no. Okay, let's try this. There we go. Maybe allegedly oh boy there we go okay fantastic and then we have the sheds over here which the sheds look pretty nice so there you have it but that is all of the mods for today lots of updates lots of placeables i hope you guys have fun with them but uh anyhow if you guys enjoyed this video drop a like down below if you haven't already hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the farmer cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos i may post this has been farmer cop thank you guys for coming and watching